Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about my very first interview that I had at the public library downtown where I'm from. So, um, yesterday afternoon, my mom and I drove to the public library and, to meet my vocational counselor, and me, my mom, voc and my vocational counselor met with three of the staff members um, who work at the library. I met two of the staff members and the big boss, the head honcho of the public library. So we all went into a separate room and had like a little group interview. It wasn't like a solo interview, thankfully, because I like, I like having my mom with me when it comes to certain grown-up things because it makes me feel more comfortable in situations like this. So, um... Of course, the the boss of the of the library just asked me a bunch of basic questions like, "What's your name?" and you know, when it comes to work in general, there's a lot of um, employers who ask their soon-to-be employees or volunteer workers, "Why do you feel like you need this job?" That's the question that's almost always being asked by a soon-to-be employee. And I put it in quotes because, well, it's a complicated story. And I really don't want to get into that because that's a little personal. So I'll just stick to what I, what I want to say in this video, if you guys are cool with that. So anyway... It took me a while to answer that question because I tried to think of a logical, you know, answer because a lot of people would normally say to get paid, but for some reason, a lot of bosses don't like, or they don't want to be, um, they don't want to be answered that. They don't want to hear that answer from that person. So took me a while of uh, thinking and I told them because I was looking for a quiet environment something that's quiet like the library of course because it's normally quiet something that's less stressful because I can get stressed out easily and it's filled with a bunch of nice people because I can be emotionally sensitive when it comes to people like being mean to me in a way even if they're not trying to it kind of feels like they're being mean like if anyone tries to be mean to me on the internet it won't affect me at all because it's the internet i'm not affected by that but if it's in real life that's a whole different story so if anyone would be mean to me in any sort of way if it's a customer i would have to let of course let the staff members know because those staff members I met in that group interview they were really nice people especially especially the big boss the head honcho of the library and of the library you know I call him the big boss the head honcho because I don't want to call him Mr. So-and-so because his last name is pretty hard to pronounce so I'm just calling him the big boss or the head honcho of the library for just for now because his last name was just took me a while to pronounce it correctly because it was just difficult to me so they asked me a bunch of other questions and after they were done they were asking my vocational counselor a lot of questions and after two and a half hours of um asking questions and answering those questions and a bunch and signing papers and a bunch of other adult stuff that I can't explain I I got the job I I've been hired but I don't actually start work until September the 13th which is on a Monday and right now it's September 4th my birthday I just turned 19 hey, hey. anyway so of course, they gave me a dress code to follow. Like, I can't wear any shorts or any leggings or 
any t-shirts that have like any like pictures or anything like that I can only wear t-shirts that have like plain that are like plain colored t-shirts or something like that my mom is probably gonna have to take me shopping later so I can wear something appropriate at work so they gave me a schedule on what time I should start work and it's at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. so it's like four hours it won't be so bad at least it's not all day because my parents, they work all day and they come home like at 5 p.m. or 7 p.m. and they come home really exhausted. And I feel bad and I don't wanna feel that way. I mean, I may feel that way later on even if it's only four hours, but I want something that's less stressful and something that I know what to do in. Like, Yes, I want to do something that's like hard working, but I don't want to like come home and feel like I'm just gonna like, feel like my legs are gonna fall off or anything like that. But I just want to do what's best for me. And I'm so glad that I got the job and I feel really happy about it. Now I can at least do something with my life. I can make I can continue to make YouTube videos for my entertainment and your entertainment too, even if I don't have a whole lot of subscribers at the moment. But I'm acknowledging my 85 subscriber count because what matters is that I'm doing this for my entertainment and my hobby. And I enjoy it. And I'm hopefully gonna enjoy my new job and I also gave them my resume too, even if it wasn't perfect because I never had a job before. This is gonna be my very first time actually going to work. And I'm hoping that it will be nice and relaxing somewhat. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.